let you know if these websites are trash mm -hmm. or a treasure. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to fall victim to this. They're bursting out the seams. <laughs> that look expensive. Are we geniuses? Jackie, let me ask you a question. Mm. You know when you're scrolling through Instagram and you start seeing all these ads for all these clothing companies, and you're like, that could be cute, but I don't know if it's gonna be cute. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm scared I'm gonna get catfish, but what if it is cute? And then like, is this for real or not? Do you ask me a question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, today, Jackie and I have done the dirty work for you. We each have found three stores, so that's six stores total between mm -hmm. the two of us, and we bought items from each store to really see if they look the same as they advertise to look online. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna let you know if these websites are trash. Mm -hmm. Or a treasure. Mm -hmm. But first, we really have to go back to what inspired this whole entire episode, which is actually quite a funny story. I don't think I know this story. No. Why don't you story tell it? I will. Actually, I'll show you. So this is the outfit that started it all. Now, is it the worst outfit? Like, now that I have it on, it's not bad. But when you see the pictures, you will be baffled. So I don't know if you guys remember, we did a style blazers three-way. I watched it. Good episode, um, me, Drew, and Sinead, and I picked this as one of my blazers, and thank goodness it didn't come in, because what I had in mind was that this was gonna be very well-structured, more sturdy, bigger shoulders, and then it came to the office, and I was like, what is that? This is like the thinnest material. Is it ugly? No, but like the line you could tell is like super cheap. No, it's so cheap. It's like, it's flimsy for $110. It needs to the be pants way longer. Don't the even length. think. It it's needs like, to be more oversized, more, more like look sharp at the zipper. It's one of those like free sewing, you buy it from a dollar from Hobby Lobby no, zippers. No, And that's what inspired this episode because it's just so crazy. You look online, they're advertising in this amazing three piece suit that you think you're getting a really good still on. And then it comes and it turns into this. That's not good. No, Jackie, thank God this happened to you because it really inspired us to make sure this never happens again. I don't want you to fall victim to this. No, I had to endure it so you don't have to. I have to look at her. It looks so bad. My life is so tragic. All right, you guys, my outfit is from an Instagram account called Shop Rumored. Okay, I feel like a baby prostitute. This is nine sizes too small. So that's what you get when you don't know what you're gonna get. Oh no. I think we ordered small across the board. Like, had this all fit me just a little bit more normal, I would be obsessed. Oh. I'm so mad. This is, like, I love this silhouette because the girl in the picture on Instagram, they wear it open like this. Yeah, like no, they, I love it. Mm -hmm. Almost like a duster sweater top, like old school kind of cute. I don't even have big boobs and the way it's acting, like, God, yeah. they're just, <laughs> it's just like, can't. They're, here, they're bursting out bursting. the seams. <laughs> I gotta pull this down. We just gotta get real, really quick. Really like, cool skirt, though. Like how cute with the like underneath, like yeah. the pockets, and like that would have been so cute had it sat just at an appropriate length. I mean, I love a mini skirt, but so it's just the sizing for you. Other than yeah. that, you do like the the outfit actually looks similar to what was being advertised. Yeah, the quality's pretty good. The website I chose because I had seen Shop rumored quite a few times on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I thought their pieces looked really trendy the way they styled them. The photos were always like done really really cool and aesthetic, and they didn't have an over like crazy amount of items. I mean, it fits Shame. if I if I want my cooter out, and maybe that's what I want. Maybe that's what Don't you want. Don't judge me. And there's no problem with that. This is a safe space. So I got my pieces from a place called Micah's and what drew me to their site is I actually got ads for them multiple times. I've went on their website and I stay clear from it because there's no models. All you oh. see is the clothes and like how it would fit a model. So whenever I saw the outfits, I was like, oh, they're so cute, but how are they gonna look on? And then also when I went to the site, they're affordable, but they look expensive on how they advertise. So I'm like, ugh, this could either be cheap clothes, but advertised to look more expensive. Yeah. And I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I was very scared. This specific outfit was advertised to me. <gasps> I think it looks very expensive and sophisticated. Like, yeah. so I have this um long drawstring skirt. It's a really cool pleather. Skirt. Faux leather. Yeah. It feels smooth to the touch. Yeah. Um, I would think that this skirt would be like a $50 skirt. So I thought, <gasps> wow, what a steal. That's really flattering too. Um, this shirt is a little bit more cheapy because it's like giving off that silk effect. Is it like the best silky shirt? No. The 
only thing I think kind of gives it away is this like the stretchy, the band. stretchy band. But other than that, $35, $35 and it fits well. There's nothing wrong with it. Does it look like the photo? It looks exactly oh. like the photo. Wow. And that was my biggest fear again. <gasps> So I'm gonna have to say, for me, Micah's is definitely a treasure. I found a treasure. I would give Shop Rumored a treasure, actually. Oh. I just am unhappy at the size, but knowing what I know now and I could do it all again, I'd just size up a couple sizes. There you go. And I think I'd be happy with the quality. Happy ending. So the item that I'm focusing on right now are the pants, okay? These pants come from a store called Because of Alice. It is another website I actually came across like while I was shopping for some clever video, honestly. And it's popped up multiple times and I actually have gone back to Because of Alice for different episodes but I've never purchased Ooh. anything from it. And the reason why is sometimes there's not a huge selection. Yeah. But the models always look really good and every time I've been on their website, I've always wanted to try their pants because their pants yeah. just look so amazing. They look like good quality. Again, leather pants tend to be, nowadays, 80, 90, 100 dollars. Yep. These are 75, so pretty pricey, but still pretty like good. a good point. So I finally decided to purchase something from Because of Alice. And I have to say, it exceeded my expectations. I don't think there's anything wrong with these pants. Let I think me they're. See. Okay, those are hecka cute yeah. on you. Thank you. You guys know I've said a million times here at Clever, especially last winter, I was like, I just need a pair of leather pants. These are the first leather pants that I've gotten at Clever that look. If you're gonna be grossed out by $140 pants, let me just tell you right now, this top is from R-U-M-I, and it runs you 160. That's so ridiculous. But look, I mean, we get why. It's so but hot. First of all, it's staring this at you. It's beautiful. Your boobs look amazing. I just need to adjust because I feel like I've been listening to you, but I've also just been being like, I hope my nipple's not out like this whole this time. This shirt is so sexy, and I could see just by looking at it, it's like really great quality. It's like compression, it's a beautiful yes. color, the cut is nice. Ah! Oh, I have heard good. of RUMI all over Instagram, all over YouTube, mm. all over TikTok, all the influencers wearing RUMI, okay? I did have pretty good expectations, but I'll just tell you right now, like, it's exceeded my expectations. The quality is insane. Mm. It is exactly that compression, mm -hmm. tight fitted material. I can't afford $160 for a top. So it's like, I get not probably going out of your comfort zone if you don't even know if you're gonna like it. But I'm gonna tell you, this is a great top. I love a long sleeve and I love when a long sleeve does something different. like shows the girls, but I think this is fun. The only thing is like, I wish I felt more secure in it. I do get nervous that like over Nothing's going anywhere. Really? Yeah, I think you're secure because you just don't normally have your boobs out, ever. No. This I feel like is very secure. Nothing's gonna pop out. I think you could even like be dancing in that and you'll, you'll be fine. What if I'm getting paparazzi'd? I'm gonna give this treasure. Mm. Full treasure, full send, R-U-M-I, full send. Love it. You? Because of Alice is definitely a treasure. Now I know that their pants are it, and I'm gonna be broke. All right, guys, I am wearing, my full look is from this um, Instagram account called Skatey. Maybe it's for skateboarders. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can see that with some vans. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. you guys, I'm obsessed with this. Um, it I is like expensive. It. Mm -hmm. This top alone is $75 and the skirt is 90. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's like, Ooh. ugh. It's such a crazy price when I see shirts for like over $12 I or something. I know. I'm like, what are you mean you're $75? But this look is so cute. I love this color. It's this kind of like cranberry berry look. The maxi. Oh, look at the little split. It has like a little detail. This is actually a huge thing for me. Whenever I try to shop for maxi skirts, I have a very like specific body type that whenever I get a skirt that's too tight, it'll push my love handles up and it just doesn't flatter me. This is so loose mm. in a good way around my waist that I feel really like safe and comfortable and flattered oh, in this. Good. Yeah, and I like this top. I don't have to wear a bra with it. It's very like um, thick. I'm obsessed. I feel like a fall goddess, like winter goddess girly. And fun fact, you guys, Skatey is made in California. It's actually made in Venice, California. So like right down the street. And for that price point, like that's pretty good because it's made like in America, which is like pretty rare. A lot of times we get stuff and like we're trying to avoid like fast fashion type stuff. Well, this is really ethically made in Cali. I love Yay. that. It's awesome. Pray to Gaia, Mother Earth. Tell me about your top. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
all exposed. Every once in a while when I personally shop Instagram or when I get ads, they think that I'm rich sometimes, right? <laughs> and I'll get like a random um, ad where the clothes look really expensive and nice and I'll click on it and then I'll like go to actual sites, see the prices, I'm like, are you kidding me? And this is one of them has that has been popping up recently. I haven't okay. seen it a lot. It's called Lou, L-E-A-U. Okay. They don't have that many followers. I feel like they're like Ooh. on the up and up because okay. they were actually featured in Vogue and oh. then on their Instagram you also see Cardi B wearing their stuff. So I was like, oh, perfect opportunity to actually check it out because for me, I am not spending $120 on a corset. I know there are women out there that definitely want a statement piece and they want to wear it and um, so I wanted to investigate for you guys specifically. It's stunning, Jackie. It is actually very beautifully made. You have this really beautiful sheer um, yeah. shoulder straps and it's stretchy. Yeah. So that's nice and it doesn't feel like it's that kind that's going to tear easily at all. This, you just like, it's sturdy as hell, mm -hmm. thick, um, silky. The only thing I will say is like the boob cup, it just like from the side, it looks a little like, like it kind of like makes your boobs look a little weird. I don't think that might be the case for everybody. I think depending on your boob shape, this might actually be good. But I think that's something that you need to think about. If I were to wear this practically, if I wore this out, I'd wear jeans with it, yeah. with maybe like a coat over. And I think it would just be a really cool yes. piece. It looks like what they advertise. It's great quality. If you're paying $120 for it, I think it is worth it if that's what you want to spend. It's a show stop and top. Bravo. I would have to say this website is a treasure <gasps> as well. Ooh, treasures today. All treasures for me, except the first one, that, that silver just jumpsuit thing, yeah. thing. I'm gonna treasure too. Yay! Skating was such yeah. a win. Like, are we geniuses? I think what we need to do actually is maybe do this again but do it with the smaller companies that are least expensive. I'm really curious what you guys are seeing on your um, like Instagram feeds and please comment those down below because if you're too scared to shop them, we will love that. take that burden off you. We'll do it for you. You're welcome.